I'm gonna give you guys the percentage and the votes and all that on my channel, right? So again, reminder: the Full Power Podcast channel had 59 votes, right? My shit had 417. Wow. Okay. Tough. Yeah. So mine had 417. And I asked the exact same question. Without spoiling, what did you think of the first episode of Dragon Ball Daima? 72% voted it was awesome. <laughs> oh. Okay. 21%. Now, look at that gap. 21% said it was okay. Yeah. 3%. Thought it wasn't that good. 5% said they didn't like it. Mm -hmm. So that's an interesting metric because the 5 to the 3%, sh there was more people that said that they didn't like it over that it just wasn't good. Which is like interesting, right? So a few responses out of this poll. So this person says it was awesome. The art and animation was way above Super 2. Mm -hmm. Piccolo Daimao is about to enter the room. Ooh, oh, I like that comment. So, all right, so about that, I guess we could talk about it real real quick. So, the Namekians were always teased for the longest time the to, have, to have, have come from the demon realm. This episode basically confirmed that a long time speculation. But they're also thinking that the Ozaru is also part of the whole demon sh shit too, because they have pointy ears. When they when they oh when they turn into great apes yeah, when they turn into great apes, I don't I don't know if you peeped that I did not peep that. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, no. but there is one thing on my mind though. I I honestly I feel like the tails are coming back. I feel like the tails are gonna come back. That that would be probably the only thing I'm honestly excited for, because then I want to see what what they do with that. So all right, all right. I'm glad you bring. I br I'm glad you brought that up because my thought on that is so before like when we were talking about the potentials of what could happen in this show. I was always mentioning how if they introduce Super Saiyan 4 in this show, it would have to be under some weird circumstances. Like, not even just on the principle of that, they would have to forget about it with, like, a, like some sort of, like, magic spell, and then they just never access it again. But now that we're seeing how, obviously, the majority of the show is going to take place in the Demon Realm... I'm starting to now think that maybe this is a form that is only accessible in the demon realm. That's fucked. If that if that would be so weird though. So yeah, it is that so that would be really weird. Now does, what would be the, does the demon realm have a full moon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's that, that's what I'm saying. That's that's that what could, I'm saying. That could that could you know change some shit. That could change some shit, but here's the thing, right? So it's like here's the part of Dragon Ball where now we get to sandbox, think outside of the box, and really start to formulate some ideas onto how we can get to things that we're obviously fantasy booking, a.k.a. Super Saiyan 4. Because don't even fucking kid yourself. You know you want to see that shit, too. Especially okay. if they're going fucking kids. Like, fuck. Like, the thing is, right, obviously people are making very direct connections to GT just off of the kid transformation shit, yeah. right? And the funny thing is, I, I think the official terminology used for kid, this version of Kid Goku is not Kid Goku. It's Goku Mini. Right? It's mini Goku, Goku mini, Vegeta mini, because they got wished to turn into kids. So, obviously, because we know what happens after, I imagine they'll get the Dragon Balls at the end, and they reverse it, and they all go back to normal. Right? Mm -hmm. So, back to this whole Demon Realm thing. I feel like what's going to end up happening is the Demon Realm, because it's different, they're going to realize that within this realm, they're going to have similar effects to what the full moon does to them, where it emits the blood waves, 
So imagine if they're in the demon realm and it just feels like they're surrounded by that shit. Like they just feel the blood wave energy because that's essentially what it does. And I'm connecting this to what you brought up because I didn't even peep that. How when they turn into great apes, they also have pointy ears. So if we're going to look at the pointy ears as an indicator as to, oh, maybe this also connects to this demon realm side of the the universe of Dragon Ball. Mm-hmm. I that. mean, yeah, if you think about it, when they transform into apes, you know, they're it's very like, demon Yes, it's like they're bringing out their inner demons and whatnot, and, and it, it's coming forth. So that's a, great, that's a great line of thought to have. But again, that also makes me wonder that, or ma- yeah, it makes, me, it makes me wonder because I think the tales will come back. Right. Because, again, this also what you're saying, what I'm saying there, it's intertwined because I'm saying that this might be something that's exclusive to the demon realm. And why? Because the demon realm will somehow allow the Saiyans to just sprout their tails back. Right. So let's say that happens. So naturally, what's the next thing that's going to take place? We actually might see Ozaru forms which we have not seen in years with mm-hmm. good reason. There's no reason to. They have no tails, so they, they haven't done it. Now, I will make a side note, but let me just finish my point. So once that happens, and then, of course, because Shonen, they're going to, just like, much like with GT, they will gather themselves, and then from there, Super Saiyan 4, <laughs> right? And then everybody will... I'm, I'm telling you, the internet will break. It will break. That will be fire. The Super Saiyan 4 will happen, okay? Whether it's called Super Saiyan 4 or not, they might call it something else. Now, Geekdom, he has been coining the term Super Saiyan Primal. Where the fuck you think he got that from? <laughs> I've been saying Primal Instinct, right, ever since the Broly film. So, and I remember when it was either when I had him on here... Or or when it, when the one time he had me on his channel, he's like I mentioned it again. He was like, "Yeah, I really like that name." <laughs> so if they if they end up going with Super Saiyan Primal or however, I don't care what they call it. If as long as they fucking look like Wu Kong, that'd be pretty tough. It's gonna look tough as fuck. So the reason why it's gonna be like exclusive to the demon realm. And it's not going to be a thing that obviously it's like, well, it'll explain why they haven't done it since. Well, simple. Have you seen them have their tails ever since Battle of Gods? It has to be something that they need the tails for. And that would explain perfectly why they have not even like accidentally tapped into it. Much like how Goku almost accidentally went Ultra Instinct against Broly when he was, you know, powering up and shit like that. You could visibly see it. Like, Mm -hmm. yeah, right. So, the side note that I was going to try to make before, I just want to get the, 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 the linear thought out. So, what, the, how, the, the way that I put it, where it's like the conditions for the Super Saiyan 4 that need to be met are what people would expect. You know, tail first, then ape, then blah, 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 right? I, I 100%, with all that in mind, I feel like I backed up my own speculation and theory with Broly. Because when we saw that movie, I had so many thoughts. To this day, still lives rent free. I felt like, and I still feel like, Broly is the first character that showed that his power is so enormous and so out of control that he can tap into his Ozaru without his tail. Mm -hmm. So because of that, I think that by the time they, they jump back to the present, and now that Broly, in the manga at least, has been shown to be in more control of himself, I think he will still be the first one to do it unconditionally without the fucking tail. That's, I'm telling you, it has to be Broly. He should have been the first one, but because of Daima and because of how they're telling the story, obviously, Goku and Vegeta are going to be shown doing it in Daima. Mm-hmm. But going forward, 
when they bring that shit back, Broly's, uh, like, they're going to go through some shit, and Broly's going to have another moment, even through his controlling, and he's going to rage because that's the thing with with that character. His, uh, his uh, power is enormous. He can't even, he can't even, no one understands the full potential of his shit. And so, again, he has been seen on screen to tap into his Ozaru state. All that power that you get as a fucking great ape, he already had. Yeah. yeah. It took it took two trained, experienced Saiyans that have God key to fucking go away for an hour, learn fusion, come back, fuse, just to defeat him. Mm-hmm. So that goes to saying, like, you know, I'm obviously, I love talking Broly because he's my favorite character, but, like, it, the proof is right in the pudding. So hold on to those thoughts and everything that I've been saying because I think that that's going to play a really important part later on to the story um, in addition to, like, what we could potentially see with Daima, you know, yeah. developing in the, the the coming months and whatnot. Right? Oh, that's that good <laughs>